this daytime talk show is not without its fair share of questionable moments. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 controversial The View moments. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at moments from The View that got people talking. These instances can include troublesome guests who caused problems with the cast, or shocking statements that drew the ire of both viewers and the media. Number 10. Nurses Unite We apologize for our remarks, and we know how vitally important nurses are. If you don't want to cause a stir, maybe don't insult an entire occupation. The story begins at a Miss America competition. Miss Colorado, Kelly Johnson, a nurse specializing in Alzheimer's disease, appeared on stage in her uniform and performed a heartbreaking monologue about one of her patients and the meaning of her job. I am a lifesaver. I'm never going to be just a nurse. While discussing the monologue on The View, Michelle Collins said that Kelly had basically just read her emails on stage, while Joy Behar asked why Kelly had a doctor's stethoscope around her neck. The outrage was immediate, with nurses creating hashtag Nurses Unite on social media and speaking about the importance of their jobs. Sometimes we don't feel like we're the most respected. You know, one thing, I have to say, one thing that became abundantly clear to me this week was that nurses wear stethoscopes. <laughs> Number 9. Whoopi Goldberg defends Mel Gibson. Give me a f side of the head. In 2010, Gibson was caught in a vicious feud with his partner, Oksana Grigorieva. In one particularly hateful voicemail, Gibson famously told Grigorieva that it would be her fault if she, quote, got raped by a pack of N-words. He also allegedly referred to one of his employees as a, quote, wetback. While the outrage was immediate, Whoopi Goldberg defended Gibson on The View, saying that she personally knows him and that he's not a racist. You can say he's being an bone head. head. But I can't sit and say that he's a racist, having spent time with him in my house with my kids. I can't say it. This in turn led to more outrage, as people decried Whoopi for defending Gibson after he said such awful and clearly racist things. Joy Behar put it best when she said, quote, That language certainly sounds racist to me. But I know Mel, and I know he's not a racist. Oh, really? Yeah, I do. Can he I, may be I... a bonehead. Well, that you know, language certainly well, sounds well, racist you know to me. What? Number 8. Janine Pirro Ticks Off Whoopi Goldberg Republican TV personality Janine Pirro, host of Fox News' Justice with Judge Janine, appeared on The View for just a few minutes before her segment was cut, when she upset Whoopi Goldberg. During her appearance, Pirro covered a host of topics, defending the Russia-United States Helsinki summit, blaming Obama for everything, and telling Whoopi that she had a nonsense illness called Trump derangement syndrome. Did you just point at me? Yes! Listen, I don't have Trump derangement. Let me tell you what I have. Okay. I have a lot of... I'm tired of people starting a conversation with Mexicans or liars and rapists. After Pirro began talking about immigrants killing children, Whoopi swiftly said goodbye, literally, and the other hosts brought the interview to a close. You don't always have to respect everyone's opinion. United States up cities. people to beat no. the hell out of people. No. Say goodbye. Let me I'm done. Number 7. Some People Look Like Animals in 2015, Venezuelan TV show host Rodner Figueroa was fired from his network after joking that Michelle Obama looked like a character from Planet of the Apes. You know, Michelle Obama looks like she's part of the cast of Planet of the Apes, the film. It was an incredibly racist comment that generated a ton of ire from the public, but the controversy didn't stop there. The View's Rosie Perez declared on the show that the Latin community is very racist and that they never want to be grouped with black people. There is a secret in the Latin community, specifically the Caribbean, mm. South American, thank you, mm. Central American, Latin community, that they are very racist. Guest star Raven Simone pounced on this discussion by then saying, some people naturally look like animals. This whole debacle was deeply steeped in racism that made no one look good. Some people look like animals. Is that rude? Girl, half my family does. I Am I like right, a bird. America? I look like a half bird. my family. So can I be mad if somebody calls me two can Sam? Number six, Whoopi and Joy walk out on Bill O'Reilly. The mosque down here on 9-11. That's inappropriate. This was another instance where Whoopi Goldberg's difference of opinion with a Fox News star caused a stir. While visiting The View in October 2010, Bill O'Reilly made a few enemies with his controversial political comments. There's the president going, well, they were right to do it. Yes, and then the guy this says, is America. and then the guy, this oh, is hold America. it, hold it, listen to me because you'll learn. The topic was Park 51, a proposed Islamic community center that was to be built just down the street from Ground Zero. 
Bill told the cast that, quote, 70% of Americans don't want the mosque, without citing a source. However, it's actually from a CNN Opinion Research Corporation poll. 70% of Americans don't want that mosque down there, Wait, so don't give me the wee Wait, bit. Wait, I want to see that You want to bet on that? Bill then declared that, quote, Muslims killed us on 9-11, prompting Whoopi to curse at Bill before walking off stage with joy and disgust. They eventually returned, and Bill clarified his comment, but the damage had already been done. Number 5. Raven Simone Defends an Abusive Cop Raven Simone is at it again, this time defending an abusive cop. In 2015, a video surfaced of a police officer violently taking down a student after she refused to get off her phone in class. Many people called the reaction unnecessary and excessive, and the officer was promptly fired. 20 minutes ago, uh, school resource officer Ben Fields was terminated from the Richland County Sheriff's Department. Raven Simone chimed in during the after show titled After the View and said that the student should have just followed the rules and put her phone away. While she did condemn the officer's actions, many saw it as an example of victim blaming. The girl was told multiple times to get off of her to phone. get off the phone. There's no right or reason for him to be doing this type of I mean, harm. That's, that's ridiculous. But at the same time, you got to follow the rules in school. People were outraged and a change.org petition was created calling for Raven Simone to be fired. It received 130,000 signatures in five days. Number four, Rosie versus Elizabeth. Iraq did not attack us, Correct. Rosie. We've been there before. Well, I'm you? saying our enemies, Al Qaeda. Are you hearing that? This one is a nice mix of controversy and painful awkwardness. The episode that aired on May 23, 2007, is probably one of the most famous episodes in The View's history, prompted by a long-standing rivalry between Rosie O'Donnell and Elizabeth Hasselbeck. Do you believe I think our troops are terrorists, Elizabeth? I yes don't think that no. you. I don't Do think you they, believe that? Yes or no? Excuse me. Let me speak. The topic was the Iraq War, and liberal Rosie and conservative Elizabeth were quickly at each other's throats. It swiftly erupted into a massive fight that resulted in Joy and Sherry pretending to walk off stage and asking for a commercial break to defuse the tension. Executive producer Bill Getty later admitted that, quote, it was a horrible day to be in the View studio. We can only imagine. I'll tell you what's cowardly. You never answer yourself. Who that is cowardly. Who is directing the show? Let's go to commercial. Number three, who will clean your toilets? In August of 2015, cast members on The View were discussing Donald Trump's racism and his controversial views on immigration. There are a lot of Latinos here in this country that do agree that the immigration problem is a problem and it does need to be addressed and it does need to be fixed. Interesting. But making Oh, those comments, those racist comments, do not help. Wishing to attack Trump and his political beliefs, Kelly Osborne said, If you kick every Latino out of this country, then who is going to be cleaning your toilet, Donald Trump? It was a ridiculously offensive thing to say and was quickly met with shocked gasps and rebuttals by her co-hosts. I didn't People mean it like that. that, come on. No, I would never no, mean it like that. that. While Kelly said that she, quote, didn't mean it like that, People were deeply offended, and Kelly was forced to issue an apology, singling out her poor choice of words. Yeah, you could say that again. I'm okay with people calling me whatever they want to call me. However, I'm not okay that I hurt people's feelings. Number two, Barbara defends Woody Allen. While Woody Allen's art has been acclaimed, his personal life has long been the subject of scrutiny. Director Woody Allen caught in a relationship with the 21-year-old adopted daughter of his longtime partner, Mia Farrow. His relationship with Sunyi Previn is well documented. And in 2014, his adopted daughter, Dylan Farrow, wrote an open letter accusing her father of sexually assaulting her when she was seven years old. He's lying and he's been lying for so long. And it is difficult for me to see him and to hear his voice. I'm sorry. Barbara Walters came to Allen's defense on The View, calling him a loving and caring parent despite the sexual assault allegations. Walters and co-host Sherry Shepard proceeded to argue about Allen and his past, and the media quickly made scathing headlines of Barbara's defense. I have really seen the father as sensitive and as loving and as caring 
as as Woody is and Sunyi to these two girls. I don't know about Dylan. I can only tell you what I have seen now. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I'm not about to hire you if your name is Watermelon Andrea. It's just not gonna happen. As a Republican, I feel like sometimes liberals say, we need to be tolerant of everyone, we need to be tolerant of everyone, except pro-lifers, except Trump supporters, except gun owners, except for everyone in the red in the middle of the country. I think that's, and I'm gonna stop you because that's not, that's I'm, not actually true. Number one, Whoopi Goldberg defends Bill Cosby. Here we have another instance of a host defending a controversial celebrity. He has not been arrested, and the bottom line is, that's the law. Innocent until proven guilty. In the mid-2010s, Cosby's reputation was permanently tarnished after he became the subject of numerous sexual assault allegations, which included rape, child abuse, and drug-facilitated sexual assault. Whoopi Goldberg was quick to defend Cosby on numerous occasions, vehemently declaring that he was innocent until proven guilty. And the American courts agree with me because still, he has not been taken to jail or tried or on anything. So back off me. She then became the subject of numerous personal threats and late night TV ridicule. To her credit, she later switched her stance and said that the evidence pointed towards his guilt. And it did indeed, as Cosby was found guilty on three counts of aggravated indecent assault in April 2018. If this is to be tried in the court of public opinion, I gotta say, all of the information that's out there kind of points to guilt. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.